Hey, this your girl Mo Beauty coming back to you with another DIY video. Make sure that y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Today's video, I'm going to be making the this hibiscus and matcha so, shampoo. Um, Just keep watching, like, and thank and you for um, coming you back to my channel. Video. I love y'all guys. I'm making um, the African black soap shampoo, also my slippery am detangler. So I have um, all of the things that I'm going to put into my shampoo i did a formulation with aloe vera juice distilled water um i made a rose hip uh hydrosol you can check out that video showing the hydrosol so what i'm going to do now i've already mixed out my guar gum this is a, a thickening agent and my uh vegetable glycerin with um the xanthan gum also a thickening agent those two things I will be incorporating for to thicken up my shampoo so I'm just gonna go right into it and um, I'm going to be doing 47.5 grams of distilled water and then I'm going to infuse the distilled water with hibiscus powder and I'm going to do aloe vera juice with the green tea powder Okay, here's the green tea powder, and here's my hibiscus dried um, flower powder. So, and this is going to be on my website. Also, you can purchase this. going to be in New York. I have to ship all this stuff to New York. My stuff is going to be showcased in New York in August, so I have to make like 50 products. So, I'm going to do like probably five of the hibiscus shampoo conditioners. Uh, shampoos and then five uh, of the deep conditioners because I've already made that. That's pretty easy. So I do like a hibiscus um, collection. So I'm not going to keep rambling on. I'm just going to get into it. So I have my distilled water. You always want to use distilled water. So it's like about 106. Okay. That's a good amount. And I have my heater, um, my pot. Okay, so I have that. So what I'm going to do is just add just a little bit. And I probably just use probably a tad. I have these when I used to um, make my lip glosses. You can get these um, from Amazon. The little small little... So I said I'd do about two teaspoons, but I'm just gonna just put some in and just go like that. So a tad looks like that might be enough. So I'm just gonna go in with the tad. And I have my stir. I'm gonna stir it up. And I'm just gonna place it right here on juice and distilled water for the moisturizing agent. You know that aloe vera juice is very moisturizing. So, okay, I have my hibiscus. I'm only just gonna do the one for right now. And I'm pretty much testing out to see <laughs> how this recipe is gonna work. So we have 44. Let me see. A little bit under, that's good. And I'm gonna use the same thing. And I got this green tea um, powder from makeyourown.buzz. I got all of my um, Pretty much all of my products from Make Your Own Dot Buzz. And I'm writing down the formulation as I go. So I'm just going to just put in, let me just stir. Green tea is really good for your hair. So this is going to be a green tea and hibiscus shampoo.
So now, because it's like three phases when you're doing formulation, it's like three phases that you want. And what I did when I did my guar gum, I put honey quat, which is like a natural uh, honey. I put a little couple of drops of that in there as well. And of course my vegetable, uh, you know, glycerin, which is a humectant. So those two things are gonna leave your hair moisturized when you are um, washing your hair. It's not gonna be dry. So this is kind of like a moisturizing shampoo. So the next thing I'm going to do, I have that working on my um, surfactants, okay? So a surfactant is the cleaning agent. So I have cocoa glucoside and I have deco glucoside. So cocoa glucoside is a little bit um, less harsh. I got that at first, but then I was like, okay, I'll do deco too. Deco is in like baby shampoos and things like that. And also cocoa glucoside. And for those lash artists, um, you can make your lash shampoos with the cocoa glucoside. That's what I'm going to be using with the distilled water to make my lash baths instead of using that um, other, um, you know, ones that you could just buy. You could just buy that and just make it on your own or whatever. So I'm doing half and half. 75, so I'm going to do like 30. I have these. I can use these small ones. And then mix everything in. Okay, there we go. So, this way, 30. So, I said we're going to go in with like 30. And we see our... Um, hibiscus and our green tea and I have it on a low setting so I didn't know that this thing gets that hot and <laughs> when I made my hydrosol it kind of like burnt the flowers but it still worked out okay so we have our agents and this is your recipe so you can do whatever you want to do <laughs> so that's why I'm gonna mix this okay we have some steeping and after that I will be straining that so let's go ahead and that one says 32, okay. So look what I'm to do is um, I also have cocoa midral mithril bitang. Um it's used in body washes and everything like that. It's also a um, surfactant. And I have put the information, cause I know all this stuff is like foreign to a lot of people. I had to do a lot of research to figure it out. Okay, so we have 102. I'm just. So now what I'm doing is just mixing the cocoa and the deco glucoside together. I'm going and so, doing my formulations you know, and then I'm going to put the um, uh, betaine bet in as well. And so I'm getting ready to go ahead and put the distilled water and the olive oil uh, juice as well in the formula. Okay, so I'm done with everything. Here's my strainer. See the color, and now, okay, I put my water in. I have everything in, and I just need to do my hydrosol. So it says 60 grams of hydrosol. So. And this is my rose hip hydrosol that I created. Okay. So now let's just whisk together. 
together. And it's warm, so it should like, you know, loosen it up. Smells really good though. Today we're going to be putting our silk protein in because with shampoos you don't want to put a whole lot because it's going to wash it out anyway. But um, I'm going to check my pH, which um, I have my pH meter. Preservative. I'm using German Plus. I also have um, Lucidol. I also have Lucidol too. But um, I think I'm going to just use the Germal right now. Check my pH. I'm still whisking. Smells like shampoo. <laughs> so now I have my pH reader. I'm going to go ahead and test it actually just cleaning it off too okay. and that pH is really good if you can see let me see that pH is right at five something So we don't even need any citric acid or anything in here. So this is perfect because it looks like it balanced out. Right, look at our pH. You want your pH to be around 550, 5 to 5.50, which is your natural pH of your skin. So we're right on the money. We don't even need any citric acid in this. Okay, so we good to go. So the next thing that I wanna do is put in my xanthan gum and glycerin. So this is the, this is the xanthan gum and glycerin. Um, what I'm gonna do is use my the spatula and you can get xanthan gum um, I got mine from you know just regular xanthan gum but it's you know organic from the grocery store for real but the people cook with it's a thickening agent and you only want just a little bit you don't want too much because if you put too much it's going to really really make it too thick and I got these bowls from the Dollar Tree. So I'm just, you know, disposable bowls that you can use to measure out your stuff. Just a little tip. Ready, feeling thick. Where is it? Continue to sit, it's gonna get thicker. And this is our shampoo. It's kind of, it's not as thick right now, but with that xanthan gum in, it's going to thicken it up. Give it about 24 hours for the xanthan gum to fully thicken up more, your shampoo. Trust um, me, I did add like a little bit there. more in there. So like I say, about a gram and a half. Um, no more than a gram and a half or it's going to be too thick. And this is going to 
to cleanse your hair and moisturize it as well as hydrate your hair because of the green tea and hibiscus. essential oils just um, because peppermint is good for your hair stimulation the growth and the follicles with a couple of drops This is my shampoo. And the way to test it out is to put a little on here. Okay. Great lather. Smells good. that this is gonna clean so make sure y'all like comment and subscribe to my channel i hope that y'all enjoyed this video of my endeavors um on making my own shampoo this is the hibiscus and green tea shampoo sure y'all remember always to keep god first love y'all